I'm Brian Vance, BoatBikeTrackview.com, and today we're going to install our Olin steering damper on our 2015 Yamaha YZFR1 STG project bike. We've already done the Olin's rear shot, we've got cartridge kits on the way. I've ridden the bike on a racetrack one time, and I definitely noticed the need for an adjustable steering damper. The stock one is not bad, but it wasn't quite enough to keep the bike settled over some of the ripples at Grattan Raceway. This piece is located up here in the front of the bike. I've removed these two upper trim panels, these closeout panels, to give you all a better look at this, give myself a little more access to do the job. We're going to need to remove the mounting point here. There's another mounting point that is under the steering head area here. In order to do that, I'm going to raise the motorcycle up and remove some of the trim underneath. The trim underneath is held on by these push pins, two pieced. Push in the center to release it, and then pull it out like so. To reinstall it, you push it back through, slide it in, and then push that back until it's flush once again. Got a handful of these up in here that we'll need to remove. That'll give us the necessary access. to get in there and replace our steering damper. This particular unit also comes with an electrical plug that we need to install as well. Pull the side pieces of trim off. Just gives us kind of a bigger access. We have to release our fuse box here as well. So, out that comes, put these pieces to the side. I want to go ahead and look up in here, Tyler. This piece right here is also going to need to be removed. In order to do that, we need an Allen head as well as a ratchet. Okay, this has a solenoid on it with a little wiring harness that comes off of it. And looking at it right now, uh, it looks like it plugs in somewhere behind here, behind the upper fairing. So we're going to need to remove the upper fairing, the front part of it at least, to get in there and have access to that connector. Because remember, like I said, we need to be able to service that. I'm going to start by pulling the mirrors. We've got two bolts. I'm sorry, two nuts right here. And then we have an electrical connector. Remember the turns are integrated with the mirror. Go ahead and release that. Get these nuts off here. And then I see we have an Allen head fastener that will also need to be released. And I've not had this apart yet on this motorcycle, so we're going on a little bit of a journey here together. Mirror comes off pretty easy. Of course, everything we do on the right side, we're going to have to repeat uh, over on the left. Looks like this fastener right here. From the looks of it, the nose of this upper fairing is uh, 
its own individual piece, the blue panel that we're looking at here. So we'll have to see how this all integrates here. I go over to the other side, begin loosening up, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll finish removing uh, the nose of the fairing. Yeah, I've taken a look at it and I've got all the fasteners out and I'm pretty sure what we have here is a couple of push pins right now that are in rubber ground. Pull that and see that released right from there. So that's how this is held on. We've got these two push pins here. This is all one unit. It's kind of interesting. And then we had one fastener here, one fastener here. And remember up here, the mirror mounts, that really was doing the majority of the work pertaining to piece. Now we've got access to the connector, okay, which was right here. There was really no other way we we're going to get to that. So now we've got that. Boom, disconnected. Now we can get to the business of getting the actual steering damper off the motorcycle itself. Looks like I've got a couple of 12 millimeter fasteners that I'm gonna need to deal with. Probably need to get a backup wrench over here. I'm gonna use nylon extension and universal. That's what you're driving down there pretty well. Okay, I've got an 11 millimeter socket here, universal socket, 3 8 drive using a rather long extension. You may need a backup wrench on the other side to loosen up that joint. loose but then I'm probably gonna have to go grab a wrench. Yep, let me go grab a backup wrench. Should be in a 11 millimeter. damper and then we'll go ahead and unpackage our brand new Olin's unit. Okay we're ready to install the damper. It's gonna mount up like this okay comes with a bolt, a spacer and two washers. You're gonna reuse the stock nut from the heim joint side okay and the stock mounting bolt from the center position. We'll start here. They want one washer on each side of this. I backed off. This has eight, 18 clicks of adjustment. I backed it off to zero. That's going to allow me to move it around much more easily, okay, up in there, which is definitely important. Slide this into place. side. I'm going to come over here. It's easiest to access this 
right through the hole where I removed that trim panel. It's going to drop right in like so. We'll need an Allen to hold the bolt on the joint side. The center bolt will be able to tighten the same way that we removed it at that long extension on that 11. Torque that down. Now I'll go grab an Allen. We'll tighten up the other side. And right up here is where we're going to plug in this device supplied by Owen. What this is going to do is this is going to keep us from having any kind of fault light by having that stock electronically controlled steering damper off the motorcycle. I'll look around as I go through this, find a good place to tie that off. They supply three cable ties, so we could do a really good, clean job of that. And it looks like I need a five millimeter Allen for that bolt. All in all, not a bad project. I would say the most difficult part is going to be actually figuring out how to get off the nodes of that upper fairing. But if you've watched this video, that should help you. I'll turn the wheel a little bit here. That should help you avoid any issues there. I'm going to start off with the damper, probably somewhere in the middle of its adjustment range. So it's got, I think, 18 clicks to start off with. I'm going to start with nine. I've got it at zero right now, so it's full loose. Makes it easier to install it. You can hear and feel every click. All right, so I've got that set right there at the midpoint. Now, uh, looking at this, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and tidy that up as I go through the rest. This was free floating in here from the factory, so I don't really see any need to, you know, overthink what they did there. So we're ready to go ahead and slide this nose panel back on. Get it all lined up. It should slide right into place. This motorcycle is definitely feet of engineering. All right, when we come back, we bolt and get the mirrors all bolted up, right, put the closeout panels on, and then we'll bring this video to a close. All right, I've got all the trim installed underneath. We have the trim panels on the top still off, okay? And the reason for that is what I want to encourage you to do is, you know, let's check. We just installed something that is part of our steering system. I want you to move the wheel back and forth. Make sure you don't have any restrictions. And let's test the damper, all right? There was nine clicks. Let's turn this bad lad up all the way, full hard, and see what we've got. I can clearly tell it's working. I'm going to go ahead and back 
it down. Yep. Everything looks good. We don't have any clearance issues, so we haven't created any problems. Last thing we need to do is reinstall these two pieces of trim. Kind of dip them right into place, like so. We've got a push pin back here and a rubber grommet. Get that located in there. And then up front we have one little fastener as well as a push pin. Pretty simple stuff the rest of the way here. And then we've got this project all wrapped up. This is our Owens steering damper install on our 2015 Yamaha YZF-R1 STG project.